What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I got some exciting news. The Chimera Jailbreak or Chimera, however you pronounce it, I know I'm probably getting it wrong, but uh, it has been updated and it does support some newer firmwares on iOS 12. So this is super exciting. Let's go ahead and jump into Twitter. And this is from the Electra team. Uh, Twitter, as you guys can see, the Electra team is the team that has created the jailbreak, and it is on version 1.2.0. It's actually on 1.2.2 at this point. It's been updated a little bit, but as you can see right here, uh, it is uh, it has added support for A9 through A11 devices running 12.1.3 through 12.2. So if you guys have an A9 through an A11 device on those firmwares, you can now download the Chimera jailbreak and jailbreak your device. Unfortunately, the A12 devices are only supported from 12.0 through 12.1.2 uh, right now. My 10s Max is on 12.0, so I actually will be downloading the Chimera jailbreak in this video so you guys can see how to do it and how to enable the jailbreak. Uh, but like I said, guys, we got some new support for those devices on some newer iOS 12 firmwares. Now, uh, if you guys do have an A12 device that are on those firmwares, I would still hold tight and not update. Uh, support for those devices might come at some point. It's hard to say right now, but still very exciting. So let's go ahead and download the Chimera Jailbreak. The way I'm gonna do it is through the Ignition application. I normally like to use Tweakbox, but for some reason it's kind of being a little wonky right now. So we're gonna use Ignition, and I hate Ignition's ads. They're brutal. Let's see if I can get past it. All right, so we'll go into the jailbreak section. If you guys need to see how to get uh, the Ignition app, I'll leave a video link for that in the description. Okay, we have no ads yet, so I'm, I'm, I'm rather surprised. Uh, but we just go to the Chimera jailbreak right here. As you can see, this is on version 1.2.2. Uh, so this is an even newer version than what was in that tweet. So just go ahead and click on Get. Go ahead and click on Install. And now it should install the Chimera jailbreak application. Let's go ahead and exit out of the Ignition application. There it goes. Go ahead and I'm gonna move this to my front page where it belongs. And just move it over here real quick. Just like a so. All right, and now from this point you won't be able to open it because it's an untrusted, uh, untrusted application. So go into settings, go down to general, go down to profiles and device management, and it's gonna be one of these. So that's for that. There it is. Go ahead and trust the Chimera application. Click on trust again. And now we can open it up. So let's go ahead and enable this jailbreak. It's really quite simple. Just launch the app and click on jailbreak. Now there has been some updates for the older firmwares as well. Just kind of an overall update to the jailbreak. So hopefully it works first try here. It's been working very, very good for me for quite some time now. I haven't had really any issues with this jailbreak. It works really nicely. Now, in case you guys didn't know, if you haven't uh, jailbroken with the Chimera jailbreak yet, uh, it does not come with Cydia. It comes with Cilio. And uh, I've been using it ever since I've jailbroken this device. And I actually like using Cilio. Um, it's really not a bad, you know, bad application in my eyes. I think it works perfectly fine. It's quick. It's easy to find the newest tweaks and stuff. It's easy to uh, install and uninstall tweaks. So it does not come with Cydia, just keep that in mind guys, it does come with Cilio. So there we go, we are in the jailbroken state here, let's go ahead and input our passcode. And there we go, as you can see the jailbreak is enabled, my device looks a lot different. Um, that's basically how you're going to download and jailbreak with the Chimera jailbreak. Again, there is new support for iOS 12.1.3 all the way up to 12.2 for all A9 through A11 devices. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this update video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later!